<laughs> Kate was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis five years ago, but during her pregnancy with two-year-old Ilona, her MS symptoms improved. I started having more energy than I would typically have when I wasn't pregnant. So it's, it's definitely a golden period. Researchers have known for some time that women with MS who become pregnant have fewer attacks, but postpartum, symptoms usually return. In the first of its kind new pilot study, researchers are seeing if fetal cells in the mother's blood account for these changes. These women all did very well through their pregnancies. They're in their 30s, uh, and um, they really had no MS attacks as they went through the nine months. Researcher James Bowen says hormones can't fully explain why MS patients like Kate do better with their disease during pregnancy. So he's looking at cell-based changes in the mother's immune system. The cells from the baby actually leak across into the mother's bloodstream. By the third trimester, up to 6% of the DNA in a mother's blood would be from the baby. Co-investigator Lee Nelson at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center is analyzing blood taken from study participants. We basically think that it's the foreign fetal material in the mother's blood that gives the benefit against MS. Results are still preliminary, but researchers say early data is looking good. We already have a positive sample and we're pretty excited about it. We studied a woman and her child. We found out what was foreign for the child and we looked in the mother's blood and we found uh, uh, some of that foreign DNA. Kate is now pregnant with her second child and once again, her MS symptoms have improved. The pregnancy for the most part is great as I've been going through this second trimester. In Seattle, <laughs> this is Melanie Granforce. Can you say my future is bright? <laughs>